Let's continue by creating some controllers for the middle parts of the body. First, create a root controller to link everything to it. Then we can use it as an attribute holder to control some functionality of the rig. Name it m underline root underline ctrl and make sure the pivot is on the origin. Before moving to the hip, create two circles to control the knee direction. I will create them using the front view and name them swivel controller. To place them correctly, use the align tool and align them in position and orientation with the knee bone. Move them using the local coordinate system with transform typed in enabled. Now select the IK solver and go to the motion tab. Select the circle as a target. If you see any sudden rotation after selecting the controller, it means you have done something wrong when placing the controller. Create another circle and name it M underline main underline CTRL and align it with the pelvis bone only in position. Now create another one named M underline hip underline CTRL and align it with the pelvis in position and orientation. You can fix the rotation using edit spline. and choose another color for it. Since we didn't change the pivot after aligning it, we can safely constrain the orientation of the pelvis bone to this controller. Using this, we can control the lower body. Also, we can lock its position and scale because we don't want this controller to move. Create a copy of this controller and align it with the spine 1 in position and orientation. Name it M underline spine 1 underline CTRL. Create controllers for spine 2, spine 3, and neck. And I'm sure you know how to name them. As long as you don't change the pivot, you can edit the shape to whatever you want. Now it's time to create the head controller. Name it M underline head underline CTRL and edit the shape. And I want to edit the shape of the neck controller. You can easily do the antennas and tentacles now. But one thing that I wanted to do about tentacles was making them like arms with IK and FK controllers. But it's a tutorial and I don't want to repeat the process twice. So let's create some simple controllers. Link the controllers together like this.
also link the spine one controller, hip controller, pelvis bone and spine one bone to the main controller. And link the main controller, swivel controllers and foot controllers to the root controller. Now I can rotate, scale and move the whole rig structure using the root controller. Now constrain each bone to its controller. And do not forget to name all the controllers and freeze them to avoid mistakes. 